right now let's come back and see next type of uh, aliphatic conversions here what do they give me they've given me to convert two chloropropane to one propanol okay nice here they've taken again related between haloalkanes haloarenes chapter and alcohols earlier they did between haloalkanes haloarenes and uh, acid group here they've picked up alcohols let's see now let us write the formula first what do they give me two chloropropane this it let us write one two three this is your propane now in the second position we have two chloro so two chloro so ch3 one two three hydrogen for this it is that now i need to convert into one propanol take this one two three and all this is one propanol this is ch3 this is ch2 and this is also ch2 done this is one propanol now observe carefully what is the difference here also you have three carbon atoms here also three carbon atoms but here you have chlorine present in the second carbon here you have hydroxyl group present in the first carbon i need to just see that thing now let's see nothing nothing to add all are present only i need to work with the nucleophile now the first important thing is suppose <coughs> <laughs> because when you are trying to shift that means you have to add this you can add this only when you get an alkene correct now what are we going to do i am going to do, do a process called dehydrohalogenation because i need to take out that and add this oh dehydrohalogenation reaction in dehydrohalogenation reaction what will i use i am going to use alcoholic koh and heat it then what will happen your cl from here right and your h from here this one will replace so you get minus hcl then the bond from here is going to shift to this now what are you going i am going to get your ch3 c double bond ch2 okay this is h alkene is ready then or what is this compound this is propene now <clears throat> now to this propene what am i going to do as soon as you get alkene either you need to apply high uh, marconic of addition or anti marconic of addition but we very well know as i said in earlier video anti marconic of addition in the presence of peroxide will add to where uh, the terminal uh, or the negative addendum adds to the terminal carbon once again in anti marconic of rule only we said anti marconic of rule we are going to get the negative addendum attached to the last carbon where it has more number of hydrogens around the double bond this has more number of hydrogens so the uh, negative addendum in water goes and adds to this so what am i going to get anti marconic of addition in the presence of peroxide now what will i get i am going to get okay i have already got the product why am i writing this okay should i write this hmm. i have to write this because i can't directly convert first i need to add bromine to this that is the mistake which i did i need to add hbr let me see now uh, using anti anti marconic of this becomes ch2br now <clears throat> this is your terminal bromine now i can easily substitute this oh with this what can i do aqueous koh here alcoholic koh here aqueous koh on heating i get terminal hydrogen once again two chloropropane i got now what is the difference here this is in second position chloro this is in the terminal carbon hydroxyl right i need to get that so what did i do i first try to do dehydrohalogenation reaction then immediately that hcl has gone out what am i left with this bond shifted i got an alkene now condition is should i go to anti marconic of addition or marconic of addition i picked up anti marconic of why because in anti marconic of you will get the halogen or the nucleophile the terminal carbon because already it is a terminal carbon suppose if they give me here this one then i use i would have used marconic of addition they've given in the terminal uh, this one so i picked up hbr hbr negative addendum adds the carbon here and i got br then i replace with aqueous koh that's done the next type of reaction is methanol to ethanoic acid so they've given me i've written it here wrong so i've cut it i'm sorry for that so methanol to ethanoic acid I, ethanoic acid is nothing but acetic acid done now let's see now methanol they said first important thing what is the difference here you have carboxylic group done so whenever you see carboxylic group one important rule i said first aniline i mean bdc cyano then acid back to a cyano to acid only is the best option to do now there is carboxylic acid try to come with that means you should have a step here with cyano let's see how will i get that cyano that means instead of oh there should be some other group which is replacing oh and to that uh, replaced group i'll get uh, i need to add kcl let's come back and see first 
first I said carboxylic group start this is methanol correct now try to introduce PCL5 when introduce PCL5 I said the name POCL3 HCL all comes out what do you get you are going to get CH3Cl now almost I'm coming closer now you are going to introduce alcoholic KCN when you introduce this Cl and this Cn comes out CH3Cn done now simple in the hydrolysis that is h3o plus hydrolysis will directly convert it into acid over isn't it so remember this sequence always now here they've given me one more isopropyl alcohol to iodo form okay isopropyl alcohol what is isopropyl first of all let us write propyl one two three prop iso means in the center this group isn't it this is your iso group where we have both the methyl groups isopropyl alcohol oh this is ch3 this is ch3 so this is one h this is isopropyl alcohol i have to convert into iodo form what is iodo form formula i ch i this is your iodo form now <coughs> simple uh, we very well know this uh, i can easily get this because <coughs> you have a methyl group adjacent to this that is what is the condition isn't it right from alcohol if I do the iodoform test, that is NaOI, I already did this iodoform reaction earlier also, you can watch that. So, when I introduce NaOI or uh, iodine or you can also write like this, I2 and then sir, NaOH, this also will do, right, or don't write both. So, what do you get? You are going to get CH3, CO, CH3. I, I already did this watch the video where I separated all the compounds in earlier iodoform reaction now <coughs> to this further now this is methyl ketone isn't it methyl ketone I can easily show further iodoform reaction NaOI then what do I get I am going to get CH3 CO instead of this H3 I'll be getting CI3 correct now what is this compound called this is called triiodoacetone if I take 3 replace that 3 moles of this replace the hydrogen iodine now simple closer almost now I am going to introduce NaOH so this becomes I already showed this earlier also there is a cleavage of the bond here and CHI3 so one compound shifts and because I am not explaining here I am basically showing this please watch that I do form reaction mechanism there you will clearly understand so when I introduce sodium hydroxide CHI3 is out and we are naming this as Iodoform reaction or Iodoform, that's it.